stop and my brothers. Woo! All right. That gives me motivation. That's right. That gives me motivation. Right. I know y'all out here. I must be out here. Right. That's y'all right. Big, beautiful black All right, brother. Woo! That's the brother. The brotherhood. Stop and my brothers. Woo! All right. That gives me motivation. That's right. That gives me motivation. Right. I know y'all out here. I must be. Hey, Shalom, Shalom. All right, this is the brother Itazawam uh, from the GMS Atlantic Camp, coming back through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashimawasha with another lesson tonight. And Lord willing, I do hope and pray uh, that it's edifying. Uh, before I begin this lesson tonight, I want to give all praises, all glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well. And as always, peace, love, many blessings unto the elect. All right. Um, this lesson is going to be entitled The Brotherhood Should Give You Motivation. And of course, uh, I was motivated by this video here on the screen. Um, and it was shared, you know, I've been seeing this video for like the last two or three days. Um, you know, brother's been reposting this video. And, uh, man, I probably watched this video maybe about at least 15 to 20 times because I just love the, the, the spirit that this man was in. You know, it was, it was just simply him seeing, um, you know, Jake, you know, his, his own kinsman, his own, you know, brothers, you know, uh, uh, was enough to motivate him to continue to push. And, and this is uh, just, you know, something as simple as an exercise. You know, he's just out walking the trail and just him, you know, seeing, you know, some brothers out there. It, it pushed him to even to go harder. And that's that's just a beautiful thing, man. You know, and that's how we have to be, you know, with each other. And we see each other, man. We should be excited, man. To see each other, you should be motivated, you know, to, to, to get some work in with each other. You know, whether it's doing a lesson, whether it's, you know, doing some studying classes at camp, you know, ke just keeping that wheel turning, man, you know, and motivating one another, exhorting one another and encouraging one another to, 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 to continue in these good works. Because the Lord is pleased with 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 with, um, with those men that's doing uh, what he what he commanded them to do to the best of their ability. You better believe you how about you now is pleased. OK, and it should motivate us to see others. You know, getting in the mud with us, you know, giving diligence to make that calling of election sure. You know, every Saturday you see them brothers' faces still enduring, man. It should be, it should pick you up, you know, as this gentleman here. You know, I, I'll just, you know, it was just something about this video that really, you know, kind of, you know, amped my, 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 my energy up, man. Like, that's right, you know. He said, as long as y'all out here, I must be out here. And that's the same mentality we must have when it comes down to doing this work. And, and, and suffering and enduring and going to camp, you know, whatever comes upon us, man, we must endure it, man. We must, you know, handle our cross with cheer, with, 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 with uh, cheerfulness, man. You know, being glad to, to, to even be considered to go down on the highways and byways and do this work, man. You know, and you see, brothers, man, it's, it's you, you always supposed to light up like it's your first time seeing them. Like, hey, Shalom, you know. I mean, unless the brother's doing some wicked, wicked bull crap, you know, or going off or, you know, ain't on point, then, you know, of course, you might be a little. And then sometimes, you know, the flesh works. You know, you have hard days and, you know, you, your woman might be getting on your nerves, might, might, you know, be dealing with a, you know, an infirmity or whatever the case may be. So some days, you know, it's going to be, you know, different. But for the most part, man, it's, it's always supposed to be, you know, that, that, that feeling of motivation whenever you're around brothers, man. Okay. So this is going to be an exhortation video. I, I didn't put too many scriptures together, but, you know, I got a couple of scriptures and I'll just let the spirit carry it through. Uh, but we're going to start. Uh, we'll start here. <clears throat> um, let me see where I want to go. Uh, you know what? I could do this. Uh, I'm going to go to Hebrews. Hebrews 10. Okay. Now, this is Hebrews 10 and 23. Well, I'm going to start at 22. Let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with the pure water. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. And what is our faith? Okay, 
that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to come back and deliver us from the destruction of America. All right. And, and the destruction of all the other places that's going to be destroyed uh, wheresoever we, we're, we're uh, dwelling. OK, that's our faith. Our faith is that we're the Hebrew Israelites. Our faith is that the, the so-called uh, chariots, which we know as UFOs, will deliver the faithful of the Most High. That is our faith. OK, waking up the elect. All right. And we must hold fast to that profession by doing what? By doing the work, giving diligence to make our calling of election sure. All right. And a good way to stay motivated is to have a pure love for the brotherhood. OK, we we had an individual in our camp, you know, about 10 years ago. I ain't going to say his name, but, you know, he would be around and you could just tell he just he didn't want to be around brothers. You know, there was one time he was, you know, in the midst of a gathering, and he just, you know, shooting brothers, the middle finger, you know. Talking shit, saying he don't want to be a part, you know, just a nigga. And guess what happened? Of course, you know what happened. He got removed. Because why? He didn't he didn't appreciate the brotherhood. It wasn't motivating to that nigga. OK, he's just another nigga. OK, but we can't be like that. Those of us that have a pure heart and a pure mind. Our mind must be, be uh, you know, pure towards the Akim, man. All right. Continuing on, it says, for he is faithful that promise. Verse 24. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. And that's what you saw that that gentleman in the video. You know, just the presence of those men was enough to provoke him to continue to go on his journey. OK, just a, just a handshake, you know, in, in, in their presence was enough to, 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 to propel that man to, you know, the next level. And that, that's that's true character, man, because he probably don't know them brothers from a can of paint. OK, but just to see a, a, a like a like spirited or like minded man on your journey. You know, doing the same thing you doing was enough to carry that that that, that brother, you know, on, on his path. And, and that's that's a great example on, on, on how we should be as well. When we see brothers out there, uh, some brothers may be having a, a rough week. but They still out there at camp. That should be enough to, 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 to keep you going. OK. That should be enough to, you know, have you do a video on the matter. OK. Edify a brother on something, you know. So it's important, you know, on, on our perspective uh, towards brothers and how we view like the brother Barack Gabar uh, mentioned earlier. He said it. Every brother is, is, is a piece of Yahweh Shai. You know, every sincere brother is a, is a piece of Yahweh Shai that the Lord has given us access to. You know, you have to appreciate that peace. You know, you have to, to, to honor that peace you have to respect that that peace of the lord that's being shared with you you know let me continue reading it says and let us consider one another to provoke unto love and good works and and that's what we do that why you think the apostles always tell us to do videos okay go get, get down to the camps you know make sure that when you're teaching the scriptures you're breaking it down right you know Provoking us to do more, do more videos, you know, give diligence that, that, because that's a that's a that's an honorable thing, man. That's an honorable thing. OK, it says not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, which you have individuals that that's like that. You OK, they can never get up. They always got, you know, an excuse they don't want to be around brothers. They'd rather be cuddled up under some box. Okay. Or running the streets. At the jumping female to female. You know. Can't never find a way to get around the brothers. And that's because they forsaken the assembly. Not, 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 not to mention when you get around brothers. The Holy Spirit is sparked. Okay. The Spirit get to speaking. And then, you know, the truth start coming out. Lessons could come out of it. You know, all kind of, you know, beautiful edification comes out in the midst of a um, fellowship. But some brothers or some men, should I say, because it's not all brothers. OK, some men, for that matter, will, will forsake it. OK, but exhorting one another and so much the more as you see the day approaching. And like I mentioned earlier in the lesson, the word exhort, 
means to encourage or to admonish. And that's why we 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 tell our brothers that hey, you should be gathering, you should be linking up. Tonight is is, is Hanukkah, you know, uh, Hanukkah in the Hebrew, which means dedication. And that, and the Lord has rededicated the third temple, which is who the elect. All right, the, we are the Lord's temple, which you know we're gonna go dive a little further into that tonight through the Spirit to prove that. But now that that third temple is being resurrected and exalted in the Spirit. Then we have to show we have to show ourselves present in that temple, which is the fellowship. OK. <clears throat> so let's get another scripture. Like I said, this ain't going to be a long lesson. All right. Just quick and to the point, man, because that, that video prompted me, you know, to, to do this lesson. Because, I mean, I, like I said, I watched that video like 20 times, man. All right. Uh, first Peter two and 17 honor all men love the brotherhood fear the most high honor the king. Okay. I love your brothers, man. Keep honoring within the brotherhood. Okay. Be careful how you talk about the brotherhood. Okay. Be careful on your viewpoint concerning uh, the brotherhood. man. Okay. You should always keep the dignity and honor and respect within the fold of your how about your was shot. Even if it is, uh, frictions or, or any schisms or you know arts it still must be honor the integrity of it must continue to be maintained so that so that we can continue to encourage and motivate all right if it's, if it's, if it's, if it's full of strife and contentions and arguments and envyings and strifes and emulations you know it, it, it takes away from the edification that could come from the body which is why we must keep the honor and respect within this brotherhood OK, because these these brothers that that's being gathered in the spirit through the testimony of Yahweh by Shema is is who's going to govern New Jerusalem. That's who's going to govern the kingdom of heaven uh, uh, under Yahweh Shai, King David and the rest of the pillars of Israel. OK. So there has to be a level of decency, love and, and respect within this brotherhood. And that way you just stay motivated. OK, so Lord willing, you know, like I said, I wanted that to be a quick one. I didn't want that to be long. Just a few words concerning that. Lord willing, you know, I may touch on it a little later on a live lesson tonight. But uh, Lord willing, that was encouraging and motivating and, and, and uh, edifying to you, brothers. All right. So I'm going to give all praises to you. How about you? I was shy by Shemakakwadash. Double honors once more to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, love, many blessings to the elect. Shalom.